Well, this is a thing. G'day guys, it's Jara here. And that was really soft. A lot more soft than I expected it to me. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, how are ya? As you can tell from this video, I'm going to try, emphasis on the word, try, to do a makeup look today. I have zero makeup expert. Okay, I have like 1% of makeup. But that's about it. And that is to do like constant makeup, even though I am shit at it. And I'm burping, my apologies. So, without further ado, my computer's gonna make some noise. And I'm gonna try and make a makeup look for my formal. So let's do it. So, this is all of my quote unquote makeup. Um, so it's just like a bunch of random stuff. This is all like my old concert makeup. So I'm interested to see if I can use any of this at all. I know the foundation works and stuff like that. And then this was a kit that someone got me, which has just like a bunch of floofy brushes that I have zero idea what to use for any of them. This is the only one I know how to use, and it's, I can get it out of the packet, and it's this one, and even then I'll probably use this wrong, this is an eyebrow one, so like, do you know what I mean, like I barely know how to use this, so, I will need to do my eyebrows later, so, without further ado, let's figure out what the hell I'm doing. So this look today is a very... Okay, I'm going to zoom out a tad. Okay, hi. This look, this look that I'm going to be doing today is a very, like, natural look. I am no... Like, I don't want full-on fancy-ish, none of that. I realistically just want, like, bare minimum. I'm going to try to do, like, a little cool eye. I'm going to see how I go. So we're just going to see how we go along the lines. I will call out products that I use and stuff like that. Nothing is sponsored. Clearly, because they would have gotten someone better to sponsor their stuff. So I'm just going to call out what I use. And this is how I do my makeup, I guess. I don't really know. Eh. Also, why is my... Hmm. Sorry, my computer is being an idiot. I'm trying to get the look up. But first off, I don't. Do I have primer? I don't know if primer is a thing that I use. <laughs> Clearly, you can tell how much I use. I'm pretty sure I go straight into foundation. I have no idea. I'm just having a quick look over. I believe it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I go straight into. Yeah. So we're going to go straight into the foundation. I'm also going to attempt some contour today. I've never done contour in my entire life. So we're going to see how this goes. This is just mascaras? Question mark? Probably, yeah. So we're going to do foundation today. So I'm using the Savvy Full Coverage Foundation Stick in the shade 02 Medium. So Savvy in the that is zero two. So I do this one, which is this is the color here, and then I'll also use this one here, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Porcelain Porcelain Normal to Oily Fit Me Foundation in the shade 110, which is porcelain. As you can see, right there and there. So first off, what I do, I also have a little mirror here to help me, so I'm just going to put this right here so I can kind of look at you guys. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm trying to do some beauty guru references, I don't know much. So I have a couple of zits here and there, because I'm breaking out for some stupid reason. But normally what I do is I just go around the edge of my face, like so using the medium two. So obviously you guys want to make your foundation your way. This is how I do it. 
So he's got a nice. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be nice. So we have a nice little like crossed section type thing. I have a beauty blender. I don't personally like them that much because I just found that they don't really work on my skin that well. I know you're supposed to wet it first, but like, I don't know. I just feel like they're not the greatest for me. But we're gonna use it anyway. And we're just gonna kind of blend this in. And you're probably thinking, girl, that shade is not right for you. But like, honey, if James Charles can't even get his shade right, then I think we're all good. And that was not a burn to him, that was just like a, you know, you know what I mean. So I'm just going to quickly go through all of this, get about the neck. That kind of blended in, as you can tell, is not good. It's really patchy. And that's fine because now we're going to use the Porcelain Maybelline Fit Me. And I put on my finger. Just kind of work it in. Because I don't like the look of I'm wearing makeup. So I like to just kind of do circular motions and rub this in until you can't really see it so it just kind of makes the patchiness kind of go a bit this lighting is a little bit orange I do apologize but yeah done and it's not like the greatest thing in the world but I also can't do makeup so there's that too so as you can kind of tell I don't know I'll give you a better look later I'm just gonna quickly dab over some areas that I think need to be fixed. Just like across the hairline and then into the ear, again into the ear, and then making sure that jawline is pretty spot on because nothing worse than having this weird ass line right here. So now that foundation is done. What do I do next? I'm going to try some contouring. I have no idea how to contour. But this is the Contour Collection by Model Spree. It's a highlighting stick in the shade Highlighting. As you can see here. So it comes out like that. So I'm just going to do... From what I know from James Charles, it's like here. I don't know what I'm doing, I'll figure it out. Under, under here. Because you want it to be like central, I believe. I don't really know what I'm doing. What a shock. I'm going to do some highlight up here. You want that brow bone to be popping. I look so weird now. And I'm just going to use the Beauty Blender again. This is on and those like stick thing. I don't know, I'm just gonna kind of blend it. I mean that kind of worked I think. I look shiny, I look really oily, so I mean in real life it looks pretty good on camera it looks really orange. So I'm not sure about that. Okay, I like. What are we going to do next? I think next we're going to need a little bit of colour. Because I'm looking a little dead. So I'm going to grab out a little blush. A little bit of blush. I'm going to grab this Nude by Nature fluffy brush. As you can tell, Nude by Nature. And then I'm going to dip into the Rimmel London colour blush. doesn't say what other... It's this one here. So I'm just gonna dip into this. Gonna go into here. You can't do like a beauty tutorial without having the good old like 
too much. So now I'm just going to blend it so it's a bit less horrible. And then I'm just going to dip into it again, do a little bit up the top so I don't look 100% dead. And just on the sides as well. Just kind of go mainly on the cheeks, but like I still want my face to look like I'm alive. So that's the blush done. Now I have this um, highlighting powder by Very Vegan. This is all it's a vegan product, hence the Very Vegan. So when you open it up, it comes with a little love heart. So I'm just going to use my finger again and just kind of go like here. Hold on, let's just pack it on. I mean, work, sure. Do a little bit in the, in the corners because why not? And then the same again on the other side. I feel like you really need to pack it on with this stuff. But hey, if you want a vegan friendly makeup, here you go, I guess. <laughs> Do a little bit of my nose. Cute, okay. So that was the very vegan powder done. That was a highlighter. Okay, so I'm not gonna do any bronzing because it's a little old fashioned in my opinion. But what I am gonna do, however, is try and like work on the eye makeup. What are you? You're an eye pencil. I don't want you. So the look, the look I'm going for is a like a like a smoky. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm gonna have to bring up a photo because there's no other way of explaining it. So give me one moment. In the meantime, I'm going to turn down the brightness. That's better. So the look I'm going to be trying to attempt on my eyes is this beautiful one here. So it seems like a very, like a, just like a little light brown in the kind of crease with like a nice black line with some beautiful eyelashes and some filled in eyebrows. So I don't know how to do my eyebrows. I'm going to try this out today. Do I even have stuff for eyebrows? What did I just drop? I have zero idea. This is an eyeliner. So no, not you. Although you have brown, so I might have to do that. There is nothing in here. Yeah, there is nothing in here. Okay, this is fine. So I'm going to just be using an eye pencil by Thin Lizzy. I'm using the brown one, there's no shades. No tea, no shade here. Thin Lizzy eyeliner. So I'm just going to quickly sharpen it because it's a bit blunt. So I'm just sharpened it just a little bit and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. So they are like a brownie black, so I might do a combination of the two. So I'm gonna start with the brown. So I'm just gonna use a mirror right here and kind of just work this in. What am I doing to my eyebrow? Okay, I think I might use the black because that seems to be working a little better. And I know it looks really bad right now, and that is okay not but it is because the magic of of this brush it's gonna do something I'm just gonna just kind of brush it in make it look a little bit more 
put together than it is. Okay, were okay. Not bad. I mean, I could just leave it like that. <laughs> but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to brush it all. Okay, obviously I need to clean up some bits. But I mean, other than that, not too shabby. So I'm just going to do the same with the other eye really quick. So that's just, again, just doing some layers of brown in there. And going over it with the black. And make it a lot more defined. Because I do not have time to shave my, well, wax part of my eyebrows today. So that one's a lot thicker. Oops. So again, we're just going to quickly marinate the two together. Make a huge mess on my eyebrow. And then just quickly, i be like, mm, magic. Oh my god, what did I just do? <laughs> I made it so much worse. Okay, so obviously I'm going to fix the eyebrow. Mm. Other than this eye here, it looks pretty good. I just need to clean it up a bit. So next, what I have to do is like a brownie shade, a nice warm brown shade up here. So I'm gonna use what are you? <laughs> what is this? Oh no, you're a blue. I'm gonna use the Rimmel London Glam Eye Quad Eyeshadow Ombre Smoky. So in the number two smoky run the R U N. So it's just this is old as you can tell because the name came up. So I'm gonna be using this shade up here. We're gonna see how that goes. So I feel like my eyebrows are a lot darker than they should have been. We'll see. So again, dipping into this little brush here. Just using the little brush that they normally give you. So it's a lot shinier. And I'm just gonna go in the crease and kind of bring it out. And that is patchy as all hell. Cool. I'm just gonna keep going. I think I'm going to use a different brush because this one's just really bad. So I'm going to dip into the... Oh, that's so bad. What am I doing again? I mean, you already forget the look that you're supposed to be trying to do. See, because it's kind of like... A very light on top. And they've, they've kind of got white at the bottom. Going up into brown. Hmm. 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 Which is the polar opposite of what I've done. So I'm just gonna use my finger and blend it. Okay, actually, this isn't too bad. I have an idea. I clearly don't know anything about makeup and that's fine. So I'm just going to use my finger again. Same thing, just kind of bring it across the eyeball and kind of blend it up. The eyebrows are so dark. <laughs> that's my fault. But what I'm going to do now I'm going to use the really light shade in here. So the light shade right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I don't have like paint pots or anything like that. Like this is just makeup that we have lying around the house. I'm going to dip into that really light shade. And just kind of put it on my lid. Give it like a lighter color, but also make it shimmer that little bit more. I just want it more for the lightness factor. I 
and I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit. See, I just wanted it to kind of lighten up the eye a bit. Again, same on the other side as always. And we'll just bring it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to quickly grab the, what's it called, the highlighter thing, there you go, that like contour stick, contour, don't think you're buff because you're wearing contour, it's a musically thing, again, I'm just going to quickly do a bit more on here, just going to blend it to my eyebrow a bit, I really want to get right in there. Really show off them eyebrow lines, which are like meh. Okay, so now that this is a thing, what I'm now going to do is do the part I dislike the most, which is eyeliner. You an eyeliner because I don't want to go in by paint pot because that is a living hell. You are is this one? You call? Nope, this will actually work. This is a this is by Metallic Eyes W7 Metallic Eye Pole, and it doesn't say what shade. So, what I'm going to do is try and do that really thick line. I already hate it. We need to keep going anyway. Like, how do I keep stuffing up this eye? I don't understand. This one's fine. This one is like. So, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something. I don't know what yet. I'm just gonna try and. Shockingly, fix this eye up. This is really burning my eye. It's going into my eyeball. That's fun. And I just put it in the magic now. Oh, okay, don't put this in your actual eye. Okay, sure, whatever. To save this eye look, oh, that is in my eyeball, is I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris False Lash Superstar, as you can see here. So I'm going to do number one first. Just wiggle them babies up. And then I'll go into side number two. And just do the same. So then you get a more oh no, that's really burning my eye. A more defined look. Again, I'm just gonna do the same quickly on the other side. Okay. So now that that is done, what I'm gonna do is a good question. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna grab the highlighting stick. And just kind of put it again in the corner of my eyes, like so. And just kind of rub it in there. But make sure it's like, obviously seeable, but reflective. And I'm going to grab the highlighting powder again, because I like to highlight. Again, just put this in the corner of my eye. I'm just going to go underneath my eye too, just a little bit, but really like rub it in. It's not too extreme, so I want the extreme to go in the eye. 
And I'm going to put some of the highlighter on the brow bone because this weird ass look that I'm trying to do. I'm going to go in with a nude lipstick, which I don't really have. Most of mine are reds. They do have a nude somewhere in this house. But for now, I'm going to go with Revlon's. What color is this? Revlon 131 Ginger Rose. So this is by Revlon. I'm going to go with Ginger Rose. And I'm just going to. The look. So now we'll do a quick, like, James Charles flashy look thing. And we'll talk about it at the end. So after some final alterations, this side is the final look. This is was an idea, but this is the final look. So it's no eyeliner. Um, this is all just like white brownie base, highlighter, highlighter, blush. Uh, lip is still the same. I have some LMT. That's gross. So I'll just cover this eye. So it's still like, you know, some eyelashes. I'm gonna put on some fake eyelashes. So this one has the black eyeliner, this one doesn't. That's the only difference. My eyebrows are colored in here. No, not here. So it's like that. Also, that's my dress right here. So I'll show you properly tomorrow. Well in a different vlog. Let's check that out. But yeah, that is the final look. Yes.